Hello, this video is about political developments in England from the medieval period into the modern era. The writer George Orwell said, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. And during the Middle Ages, King John of England was told by his barons something he did not want to hear. What that was, you will find out in the following video. The Magna Carta is an important document in English history that was signed in 1215 during the reign of King John. It was a charter that limited the power of the king and protected the rights of the nobles and free men. The Magna Carta was the result of negotiations between King John and a group of rebellious barons led by figures such as Archbishop Stephen Langdon and William Marshall. It established the principle that the king was not above the law and that certain rights should be guaranteed to all individuals. The Magna Carta was the first step towards establishing a system of laws and rights in England. The second topic is English common law. Common law in England is a legal system that developed over centuries based on court decisions and customs rather than written laws. It was influenced by legal scholars such as Henry de Bracton and Sir Edward Coke. Common law was an important part of English society and provided a sense of fairness and consistency in the legal system. It ensured that similar cases were treated similarly and helped establish a foundation for individual rights and freedom. Figures like Sir William Blackstone played a significant role in codifying and interpreting common law and principles. The next topic is Model Parliament. The Model Parliament was a significant development in English political history. It was established in 1295 during the reign of King Edward I and consisted of representatives from different classes including nobles, clergy, and commoners. The Model Parliament was influenced by figures like Simon de Montfort who organized the first representative assembly in 1265. It marked the beginning of representative government in England and provided a platform for people to voice their concerns and grievances. The model parliament helped ensure that laws were made with the consent of the government, laying the groundwork for a more inclusive and democratic system. The Glorious Revolution occurred in 1688 when William of Orange, a Protestant Dutch prince, was invited to invade England and take the throne from James II. The Glorious Revolution was bloodless and led to the significant changes in English governance. It was supported by influential figures such as John Locke, a political philosopher whose ideas on individual rights and limited government influenced the events. The Glorious Revolution established the principle of parliamentary sovereignty, meaning that the power of the monarch was limited by the authority of parliament. This event marked a crucial turning point in English history. It shifted power away from the monarch towards a more democratic system. And the last topic is the English Bill of Rights. The English Bill of Rights was enacted in 1689 following the Glorious Revolution. It was championed by figures such as Sir John Summers and Sir Edward Seymour. The English Bill of Rights outlined the right and liberties of the people and further limited the powers of the monarchy. It protected freedom of speech, the right to bear arms, and the right to a fair trial. The English Bill of Rights also prohibited cruel and unusual punishments and affirmed the principle of free elections. It is attributed to the collaboration of Parliament and William and Mary, who accepted the conditions set forth in the bill. The English Bill of Rights is considered a cornerstone in constitutional law and has had a significant influence on the development of democratic societies around the world, including the United States. 